right, guys, this is part two of the EOS video. If you missed part one, be sure to check that out. Otherwise, let's go ahead and dive into the last bit of this thousand rounds. All right, so there's a couple of simple drills that are well known. The build drill is one of them that is draw and six rounds in the middle of the target. It's a great way to burn ammo. It's a great way to test your grip, but it's also not my favorite drill. I don't like running those very often just because I started out in this game with not very much ammo at all. I could shoot maybe 50 rounds. So burning a build drill would deplete that significantly. And I much prefer adding more to it. So I'm making it more of a macro drill, testing more things. A build drill is going to test your your uh, grip, your recoil management, your trigger, your consistency, etc. cetera. Um, but you could also do the same thing by adding transitions in. This is called a Blake drill. So seven yards, three targets, six rounds, and you can just work left to right. It's real simple. Um, we were just working an accelerated drill, and that's obviously a Blake drill, but adding depth to it, which also adds throttle control on top of your target transitions and recoil management. So let's go ahead and run a Blake drill real quick. Stand by. All right, I pulled, that was a 183. So that's actually the same speed as my freaking bill drill. Um, we pulled one Charlie here. That's a perf and that one's clean. So one Charlie on the Blake drill at 183. This also really tests how quickly are you seeing? How is your vision tracking from one to the other? I've got a 16 split on the first target, a 19 transition to the second target, a 14 split there, a 20 transition over to the third target. Let's go ahead and run it in reverse. Stand by. Ooh, got really sloppy with that one. Um, no vision. <laughs> it's funny. Vision is such a crucial part of these drills. I dropped a Charlie on this one and then a Delta, two Deltas actually on the last one because I was paying attention to the Charlie I threw on the first one. So obviously that's not where we want to be. We got to correct that a little bit. Now, another variation of this drill that I like to do is throw in a headshot. So either start head, body, head, or body, head, body. This is kind of the same thing as an accelerator drill where we're changing our throttle control based off of the target size. Instead of distance, it's size. So let's go ahead and do body, head, body, stand by. All right, we got uh, one Charlie here. Let's do head, body, head, stand by. Okay, clean run there, 314. And you guys can kind of see what I'm working with here, just trying to focus on where can I go fast, where do we need to slow down a little bit um, to see more, because we're not slowing our shots down, we're just taking more time to see what we need to see. And we'll do head, 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 stand by. Woo! Let's do that one more time. This time, since we got a big stick, we're gonna do head, 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 body, body, body. Stand by. All right, now that one, overall good. My hits were good on that, but I wasn't thrilled with the transition from the head down to the body. That was a 36 transition and it should have been half that. So let's try that one more time, stand by. much, much cleaner. Obviously I reversed, that was a 435 for 12 shots. And the transition that time was a 21 instead of a 34. So cut, you know, 13 hundredths off a second going from there down. Now come check this out. We almost have a little smiley face going on here. We got three, one, and three. That's pretty cute. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna go ahead and run a an El Prez using big sticks. So I've got um, a partial big stick here loaded up. El Prez or El Presidente is a classic drill. We're gonna start in the shooting box. We turn, draw, two, 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 hit a reload, two, two, two. Now, a quick little technique for the draw. Toes touching the back of the box. I like to keep my feet pretty close together. I put my weight on the right heel, push off with my left toe so I can turn and plant. Now, obviously this ground is super soft, so it doesn't help very much with that, but we're gonna do our best. So two, two, two and then reload 222. Two, two. Stand by. All 
All right, that was a 492 El Prez with uh, one, two, three Charlies. Three Charlies on the 492. You guys figure out the hit factor and let me know what that was. Uh, put another round in here. Let's try this El Prez one more time. Stand by. Ah! Real sloppy with that reload. Could not get it to line up. That was a 547, so we lost a second on that. And we threw a Delta. Time to reload. That's like cheating. Whoo! Hands are getting tired. All right, we are now officially just past the halfway point because like I said, 261 rounds and that pile of mags, we've gone through it twice now. Drop a comment, what do you guys think so far? All right, so just took a little lunch break to regain some sustenance. Now, this is gonna be a cold triple billy, which means we're gonna shoot a bill drill, reload bill drill, reload bill drill on three different targets. So you can do it on one target, we're gonna do three different targets. They're all pasted up except for anything inside the alpha. Let's give this thing a run and see what we can make happen. Stand by. All right, looks like I pulled one Charlie in the middle target just a tad bit high. That was eight seconds flat for a triple billy. Um, definitely just dunked that mag right in the sand. Gotta love it. So I had a couple of requests for a 50 yard build drill. So we're gonna run that a couple times. I've got a uh, completely pasted target up down there and this is our 50 yard marker right here. So let's go ahead and see what we can do for a 50 yard billy. First, let's just see where we're hitting with this. Well, shooting a, I think it's a four inch plate at 50 yards, it's dead on. So let's go ahead and run 50 yard build drill, stand by. All right, 516, we're gonna run it back to back. So it's a clean target, right, or was a clean target, we'll run it back to back, stand by. All right, that time I think I pulled one or two down low. Um, so we'll have to go see what the hits are. They should all be on the paper, but let's go check it. All right, so the results of the 50 yard build drill, two deltas, one, two, three, four, five, six Charlies. Um, and then one, two, three, four, five alpha. So not great. Maybe we'll run that again. Um, these are the ones that I call, or I know this one I called, and I called this one down low. Um, felt those pull, especially on that last run, but let's run her again. Why not? All right, so first we'll run a 50 yard plate rack, and then we'll hit the 50 yard build drill. Stand by. That was pretty rough. 1093, 14 shots. All right, build drill it is. Stand by. That one felt really solid. That was a 509. And I think all of those were alpha, maybe pulled one up high into the Charlie. Now there's a hostage target down there. Can you see that, James? The, the blue target with the white over the shoulder. Let's see if we can ding 
that hostage taker. Well, I dinged the hostage. <laughs> there we go. Now it's hitting the, the bad guy on there. Ah! All right, so looking at our 50-yard build drill, we got one, two, three, four, five alphas, one Charlie, which is what I called from 50 yards. This gun shoots so good. And when I see that dot lifting from where I'm expecting it to, it makes me happy. Time to reload. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and run the X drill, which is a fun one. Uh, we start two body, two head, two body, two head. It's just a figure X. Uh, we're at seven yards. And then we can run the X drill reloaded, which is another one of my favorites is a cold start drill. But we'll start with the X drill first, stand by. All right, um, I was going for just head, but let's go ahead and dial it in for A zone of the head. I dropped those two just below it. Um, but we'll go ahead and run this again, but we'll just reverse the order. So that was a 347 for eight rounds. Took me a long time to get that first shot off, just trying to get the dot stabilized. Let's run it again, stand by. There we go. That was a clean run and 374 again, Little delay off that first shot. Um, we're gonna do X drill reloaded, which is the same drill. Put a couple rounds in here. But we add in a reload, and then we pick up the headshots again. Not bad. That is a, up, oh, dropped one Charlie there, 609 for the X drill reloaded. Now, another real fun drill is the Chaos Drill. And this is one from Viking Tactics. But the Chaos Drill, we have five targets in front of us. You shoot target one, target two, target one, target three, target one, target four, target one, target five, target one, target four, target one, target three, target one, target two, target one for 15 rounds total. Let's give it a try, stand by. All right, that was a 606, but I dropped two deltas. We put a delta right here, and we put a delta on the last one. I just kind of overswung that target. My eyes didn't get to where they needed to get and stopped completely, and dropped a delta. So two deltas on that. This is an old Charlie. Let's run it again, because that's a fun one. All right, let's run the chaos again. But actually, let's do this. We'll do a double chaos. So we'll do it two rounds per target, if we can. Yeah, we should be able to get two rounds per target with a reload. So I'm gonna have to uh, do a reload, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, after that last target. Yes, we can do this. All right, double chaos, stand by. That's a lot of shooting. That was a 998 for double chaos. We've got alphas, uh, one Charlie, one Delta, two Charlies, a couple of Deltas coming in here. This one here is obviously the most shot target because you're always coming back to this one. And I was ripping those shots a little bit early as I was coming in, so that's fun. <laughs> Let's go top it off. Okay, so now I'm gonna run the MXAD drill from X-Ray Alpha. We got a target at five yards here. Uh, we're going to draw, put six rounds on it, and then transition and put two more on the 12 yard target. Stand by.
Little uh, hesitation going to that 12 yard target. It's a great drill. Um, we got two Charlies here, 254, 254. So let's go ahead and run that one again. The back target's clean though. Stand by. All right, we have a 240. That one felt a lot smoother. We had 19, 16, 16, 18, 16 split in a 32 transition, 32 split back there. So that was a clean run. Uh, oh, nope, I did drop one Charlie here and uh, back target was clean though. So let's go ahead and run that backwards this time. I'm gonna run six rounds on the back target and two rounds on the close one. Stand by. Uh, through a couple of Charlies here on the left-hand side, 283. Let's do that one more time. We got, looks like three Charlies in the back and one Charlie here. Stand by. Yeah, I like that one. That one felt good. 278 clean. Um, clean here and clean back there. So that one made me a lot happier. Uh, good cadence in the back. A little slower than I like. We're looking at 30, 25, 26, 25, 23, um, and then a 20 transition to here with 16 split on this target. So let's see if we can do that back target. It's a little bit better. Um, clean it up. I'm going to use a fresh one that's been pasted up. Uh, it's a little bit wider transition, but I'm okay with that. Stand by. Uh, still threw a couple of Charlies in there. 276. That's a fun drill, though. It's good just for visual um, visual uh, accuracy here. We're actually picking up the, the spot that we need to go to. Not feeling it like I'm focusing on the back target well enough. So let's go ahead and reverse it one more time. We'll do six on this one and two in the back. Really, I'm going to go to the headshot, actually. Try to do a good transition and really pick up good, clean headshots on this first target here. It's clean, so we'll see. There we go, two clean headshots. That was a 290. Obviously, that's a much smaller target to transition to. Um, good fast bill drill on that one. That was, uh, let's see, 173 Billy. And let's just reverse that again. We'll do uh, six in the head and then transition up into here. Stand by. Okay, 404. So clean target here. Let's go back here. You can see my headshots. Um, I didn't get it in the credit card. They were all right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, because we did two and then we did six. Not too bad. Not too bad. It's a fun drill. All right, this next drill I'm gonna do is called the one to five drill. Somebody requested this one. Um, and this one's pretty simple. I don't remember the distance it's supposed to be. We're gonna do this at 10 yards just to make it simple. Um, we're gonna draw, shoot one round. Then we're draw, shoot two rounds. We're draw, shoot three rounds four and five rounds. And the goal is to keep first shot accuracy and speed pretty consistent. And then as we increase the number of rounds fired, we're simply going to test, make sure that we're not faltering just because we took one shot. So we're about 10 yards here. I got a clean target up down there, um, just two hits in the alpha, but let's go ahead and check this out. Stand by. Dead center, 118, stand by, two rounds this time. Uh, first shot, 127, 160 for both. Stand by. This gun shoots so freaking smooth. 113, first shot, uh, 178 total time. That was three. Let's do four. Oh, I dropped a Charlie on that one. 199. And my very last shot, I felt it come down. 117. For the first uh, for the first shot, stand by. There we go, and 2:43 total time, 131 first shot that time. So I pulled the last this last shot down here was a Charlie um, on that second string, but everything else is stacked in there, so that's pretty good. All right, this is one of the harder drills. We've switched over to a concealment rig. I'm um, running a Priority One holster uh, for this 2011. And I'm running the tier one concealed three sevens drill. Now I am coin number 38, coin holder number 38 um, for this drill. And it is a tough freaking drill, but the goal is to hit one inch circle, two inch circle, 
from concealment, do a slide lock reload, hit the three inch circle and then the one inch circle for a total of seven rounds from seven yards under seven seconds. So we've got a, a fresh target up there. Let's see if we can get this thing clean. Stand by. All right, it is not clean. 727, that first shot took me 237. That was an eternity. Let's go check the target real quick. We have uh, one out, one out. That's actually not bad for a first run from concealment. I can't even think of the last time I shot him from concealment, but we pulled the number two shot on the two inch circle. Um, everything else is touching the line. So let's go ahead and run this thing again. Oh gosh, get that in here. I'm doing pocket reloads, so that's fun. But all right, let me just mark this, this uh, shot right here. And one in that one, one in that one, one in that one, three in that one, including the line toucher. So let's go ahead and try it again. All right, I think that got it. That was a, oh no, 762. First shot, 250, wow. Let's work on that. Um, and I pulled one on the three inch circle a little bit low. So I'm gonna put a fresh one up and we'll see if we can clean this up. We're real close, but just not quite there yet. Let's do it again, stand by. All right, I think that should be it. Let's see. Ah, oh, 714. So that's a clean run, 714. Not quite there. I felt pretty good about that one. Um, we had a good cadence there. Dead center here, two in, three in, and one in, but not quite making the time. So let's see if we can, again, push a little bit faster. Uh, my, my first shot was at two seconds, which honestly is not bad on a one inch circle at seven yards. Um, just gotta prep that trigger a little bit faster, I think, and we'll get there. Um, and the reload itself wasn't spectacular, but it also wasn't bad. Let's see what the reload time was. Shot number four was a 2.49 reload. So definitely not a great reload, but not terrible. Let's see if we can get this down. Stand by. All right, I dropped my first shot and I dropped my second shot and it was still over the time because that reload. Let's just see, I'm gonna do it one more time, guys. One more, one more time. I promise this will be the last run. And then we'll go do something else. All right, so there are currently two shots outside the circles. Let's see if we can get this run clean, stand by. Ah, almost had it. Six, seven, one, and I dropped my very last shot. <laughs> oh, that's the way it goes. All right, let's play with something else. Just want to finish off that mag, but come here and check this out. <laughs> this gun, I'm telling you guys, that was one shot that I pulled myself. The rest of them were stacked in the same hole. Gotta love it. All right, now we're gonna run the Bear Solutions drill. Um, we'll just run it twice. This is five, five, slide lock reload, three. And for pistol, it can be done from three, five, or seven. And my goal is to do this, we'll do it from seven. Um, I think that's anything closer than that, you're just kind of cheating yourself. So let's see, we got a 10 round mag in, which will go to slide lock. We're gonna do five, five reload out of the pocket again, and three in the center. Stand by. All right, clean run and 741, 741. So you can see the top target. We've got five, five, three in the middle. Now, 
one of the keys to this drill is that transition from the those two big targets so you want to make sure that that transition is fluid and if you notice my cadence across those two we had five shots 31 29 27 26 split 25 transition 27 26 25 23 split so it's literally like I shot 10 rounds in a row, but I just moved the sights over a little bit during the recoil in between those two targets. So let's go ahead and set this up again. I don't know if this will go to a slide lock or not. Um, actually, I need to take one round out of there. There we go. Now we got 10 rounds. If it goes to slide lock, great. If not, then I'll just do a uh, slide rack instead. All right, stand by. Another clean run, a 690. I don't remember what the one was before that was, maybe a 714. Let's see here. Uh, 741 and a 690, so back to back clean runs. We got five, five, and three again. Not bad. That'll do. All right, guys, I have the IDPA 5x5 classifier, which is one that you guys recommended. Um, we're gonna do this at 10 yards. I don't have any IDPA targets because why? Um, <laughs> I I should have some, but I don't. So we're gonna paste this up. I'm gonna treat this as like a, an agent circle essentially here in the alpha. It's not that much different. And we're gonna start at 10 yards. The first is five shots freestyle, five shots strong hand only, um, five shots reload five shots, and then four shots, body, one shot, head. And we're gonna go ahead and run this all from concealment. So let's go ahead and give it a try. I'm gonna run through them pretty quickly here. Okay, stand by. All oh, dead center. That was a 291. Definitely could have sped that up a little bit. Let's see, 291. Actually, I'll let James add these up to for me afterwards. Okay, then we got five shots, strong hand only. Stand by. Ooh, got a little wobbly on that last one. I had one Charlie there, a four, seven, three. Okay, string three is five rounds, reload, and another five rounds. Stand by. All right, we had one Charlie on that one and a total time of 577. And finally, we have four shots body and one shot to the head to finish it off. Stand by. Bueno. For a 279. All right. 1620 down three, looks like. Let's just check it out real quick or plus three, or however they score that. We got one Charlie, two Charlie, and three Charlie here. I don't know if that would be inside the circle. I would say it would be, but we don't have a circle here. So there's the classifier. Guess we need to reload. All right, so this last drill that we're gonna run before we shoot some fruit to wrap things up, oh God. It's gonna be the brain, brain scrambler, and I've got a plate up at about 18 yards from here. Um, we're gonna shoot that, and you can only take one shot per position. So I'm gonna start here, take a shot, move to here, take a shot, and back and forth until I get 10 hits total. So James is gonna help me keep track of that. I have to keep track of it in my head. He'll keep a counter on the screen, and we'll see what happens. My goal for this is to be under 25 seconds. It should be 20 to 25 seconds. If you can get sub 20, that means you went one for one and you had some really good cross times here. Um, so yeah, my goal really is sub 20, um, but 25 and under I think is a good passing time. Let's give it a try. Stand by. All 
All right, so that should be 10 hits. I think I had two makeup shots in there. Uh, 2213 was my time. 2213, 157 first shot with 12 shots total. So not too bad. It's a really good drill. Get your heart rate up and it's low round count. God, that gun shoots well. All right, so clearly we have some fruit set up now. Um, we're gonna wrap this thing up comparing some ball ammo to some G9. I have some 80 grain, which is their traditional hollow point. I'm sorry, external hollow point. Um, is not a traditional hollow point. It's very, very different, as you can see. Now, these work incredibly well. I know some people are like, ah, we don't know. Trust me, it freaking works. Um, a lot of guys are switching over to it now, also in the law enforcement realm, and it's being very effective. Uh, I also have some of the brand new um, 126 grain solid copper subsonic rounds. So I haven't shot these yet. I just got them in. And I want to give these a shot. These are um, four cuts in them, four little you know, channels, if you will, versus the 80 grain that has three deeper ones. So apparently these are working incredibly well as well, well as well, um, but I haven't shot them yet. So I just got some of these. I want to give them a try. But let's go ahead and take a shot with some regular ball ammo on the pineapple. Let's go ahead and see what happens here. Not a whole heck of a lot. Let's go ahead and take a look at that just to see what a pineapple looks like shot with regular ammo. Um, small hole going in, a uh, little bit bigger hole coming out. Tastes delicious. So let's go ahead and shoot this second pineapple with the G9. Now we're gonna shoot it with the 80 grain first, and then maybe we'll shoot the 126 on the other one that I already shot. So 80 grain, on the second pineapple. Good God. That's not even a comparison. So this is uh, the pineapple after, you, I'm sorry. Here's the entry right here, okay? The cool thing with this ammo is it Im immediately starts working. So as soon as it hits, it's already working. Most traditional hollow points are all traditional hollow points. In order for them to do their job, they have to expand, which means you're gonna have distance before the bullet actually opens up. And that can be affected by clothing or other things. That's the exit wound, I think. Um, it could be the entrance. We'll have to watch the, the slow motion to see which one it is. So I'll turn that this way. Maybe we'll get another shot out of it. Maybe I'll turn it this way. Yeah, let's do that. I'm gonna shoot the, uh, the other pineapple with a 126 grain now and see what that does. These are a lot heavier, obviously. It's almost 50% uh, more weight. I've got uh, 80 grain in here, so I'm gonna shoot the bottom of the one, and then I'll go ahead and shoot the other one with the 126 subsonic. Ha! All right, this is the subsonic. All right, so I hit that one a little bit high, still blew chunks off of it um, very effectively, and cycled the gun no problem. So let's go ahead and shoot these watermelons. I'm gonna shoot one with subsonic and then one with ball. All right, so first one is a subsonic 126 grain, the second one is a regular ball, 115. All right, so let's go compare those two. Oh, it's leaking. Delicious. Um, this is the 115 grain ball. It busted it open pretty good, actually. Watermelons are always a good time because they crack real easy. And this is the 126 grain, so it's actually um, not that much difference inside. It uh, definitely at the front, actually the entry wound on this is significantly worse. I'll crack this thing open so you guys can see it. So the entry here is pulverized, but looking from here um, on the outside, it doesn't look that much different. Gosh, that's a mess. That's pretty good though. All right, to finish this off, we're gonna shoot that left or what left cantaloupe with two rounds of ball, and then we'll shoot the right cantaloupe with two rounds of 80 grain. Not much going on. Not much left. <laughs> oh.
All right, I'm gonna do two last shots. I'm gonna try to get both of these water bottles as quickly as I can and get you some slow-mo on it. All right, guys, that's it. That's a thousand rounds through the EOS today, and I'm impressed. It is one of the best shooting handguns I've ever shot. It even rivals my Erebus, truthfully. Like the way that the sights come back, the way that the, the comp feels with this compressed spring, it just feels sweet. It is a sweet shooting gun. I remember when they launched the Ares, which was uh, the aluminum frame version of it. This is only six ounces heavier than the Ares, and this one shoots better than the Ares by quite a bit. And I love the way the Ares shot. It kind of had that same kind of compression like squishy feel at the front of the recoil and then snap back to target it's hard to describe if you have a chance to shoot one definitely do so um, you definitely want to check this out i had a, a blast shooting this my hands are a little sore but honestly not as bad as i expected we had some fun shooting some fruit running some g9 ammo through that and uh obviously the results speak for themselves there but if you guys have any questions feel free to hit me up anytime that's what i'm here for um, we're going to be doing some more cool stuff with the Apollo coming soon. Cool guns coming, cool things happening, lots of good shooting. Thank you for everyone who submitted a drill for me to run. Um, after we put a little bit of lube on here this morning, um, a thousand rounds ran flawlessly. So that makes me happy also. Uh, pistol is still in good shape and probably going to do a little bit more shooting before we wrap up for the day. Thank you guys again for staying through this video. Thank you for submitting drills for me to shoot. Thank you for being part of this awesome community. And I hope to see you guys on the range soon.